DJI is quietly preparing to shake the entire drone and compact filmmaking world once again. And the leaks surrounding not one but two groundbreaking new products have exploded across tech forums, drone community pages, and industry insiders who claim the company is ready to merge advanced 360-degree virtual reality recording with high-speed first-person view flight in a way we've never seen before. Making the upcoming DJI Avita 360 one of the most ambitious and forward-thinking consumer and professional drones ever created, arriving at a moment when creators demand more immersive storytelling tools than ever. Whether they are adrenaline-seeking FPV pilots speeding through tight gaps or travel filmmakers who want boundary-free spherical footage with an invisible drone perspective. And what makes this all more electrifying is the fact that earlier leaks were actually misunderstood, what many thought was simply the prototype Avita 3 was actually the Avita 360 operating in its stealthy FPV forward mode where its unique rotating gimbal hides the lower 360 lens by flipping it upward inside the protective frame. An engineering innovation designed to keep that cinematic spherical capture hardware safe during high-velocity maneuvers, rough landings, or accidental bumps against obstacles, and this hybrid transformation proves DJI's expanding vision. Combining their dominance in both FPV drone performance and compact 360 degrees camera technology into a single device that allows creators to shift instantly between modes instead of carrying separate systems, now thanks to the latest high-detail leaked promo images, we know the name DJI Avita 360 is official and that it supports two massive shooting identities an FPV mode with a single forward camera delivering stable and crisp directional video perfect for racing, freestyle flying, and cinematic action, and a full 360 spherical imaging mode where both lenses record the entire environment at once, ready for immersive VR editing, horizon leveling, and reframing magic. Each lens is expected to capture an ultra-wide 180-degree field of view at high resolution. Combining into AI processed 8K plus 360 footage and potentially delivering around 120 megapixel panoramic stills, allowing detail and clarity impossible on current small FPV drones. While FPV centric creators could get up to 5K 60 frames per second cinematic recording and roughly 30 MP photos when using only the forward optics, and to support these massive files, DJI is. Boosting internal storage to 128GB along with high-speed microSD expansion, plus the new 04 Plus transmission module that could push stable video feed performance to an astonishing 20km range. Paired with slightly improved flight endurance rumored around 25 minutes, a welcome upgrade for pilots always craving more airtime. Safety is another area where DJI plans to exceed expectations as Avita 360 leak reports suggest a multi-directional obstacle awareness system with front LiDAR, rear optical avoidance, and downward infrared stabilization, but in 360 capture mode the dual fisheye lenses may themselves become the vision system, detecting threats in every direction for truly omnidirectional protection that FPV users have always wished for in confined flying spaces like forests, abandoned structures, and indoor environments. There's even talk of advanced subject tracking, similar to what we've seen evolve rapidly in DJI's newest air and mini drones, but now integrated into a drone that can orbit each chase, reverse track, and capture dynamic looks while still being fully steerable in headset control, a dream scenario for action vloggers, extreme sports athletes, and pro filmmakers wanting hyper-creative point-of-view content. With multiple package configurations planned including affordable entry bundles near $500 and high-end FPV kits with motion controllers, goggles, and spare batteries, DJI seems determined to make this hybrid drone accessible to both newcomers and professionals, though of course true manual FPV flight will still require the FPV controller 3 sold separately, and the rumored December 16th to 18th release window feels carefully positioned to stay a step ahead of competitors trying to chase the same immersive capture revolution. Avita 360 won't be for total beginners. Editing 360 media requires proper workflow experience and decent computer performance. And FPV has a learning curve, but this device could mark a new category of aerial cinema where one drone does the job of TW. O or three different filmmaking tools at once, merging creativity, adrenaline, and cutting-edge camera engineering into a single futuristic system. But DJI isn't stopping there. Leaks confirm that the long-awaited DJI Osmo Pocket 4 is almost ready for launch, and that tiny handheld gimbal rapidly evolves into a far more powerful cinematic companion thanks to a brand new dual camera setup. 
the first ever seen in the Pocket lineup, giving creators a hybrid tool perfect for YouTube vlogging. Stabilized action filming, vertical social content, and ultra-smooth low-light footage using what insiders claim is the same 1-inch 50MP variable aperture sensor used in the recent DJI Action series, offering a massive imaging upgrade compared with the Pocket 3, while a second 1-slash-1.3-inch vertical-optimized sensor will allow native portrait shooting for TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and travel content creators who no longer want to crop away resolution or rotate the device awkwardly. Early leaked renders misled fans into thinking a rear touchscreen was coming, but sources now suggest that extra screen area is actually a microstatus display for settings, modes, and quick view information. While the main touchscreen may grow slightly larger for improved touch control, astonishingly, the Pocket 4 could remain more lightweight than its predecessor despite a boosted internal 1,545 mAh battery, delivering 15-20% to longer operation for travel vloggers who rely on pocket size. Stabilization instead of bulky rigs, and the FCC filing with model ID OP041 confirms the final hardware is complete, Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth low energy, refined body material structure, and an evolutionary design that feels familiar yet more durable and premium to hold, although the design isn't radically changed from Pocket 3, the inside improvements, dual lenses, stronger stabilization algorithms, upgraded active tracking, better audio recording, and low-light performance, could make this the most advanced pocket gimbal camera on the market when it officially arrives, but timing remains complicated due to tariff discussions and talk of a potential United States sales restriction targeting Chinese drone and camera tech near late 2025, meaning the release could be accelerated into December or postponed into early 2026 depending on DJI's strategy to ensure maximum global availability, either way, creators waiting for a portable camera that bridges filmmaking versatility and smartphone. Convenience finally have something worth upgrading for, and with both the DJI Avita 360 and DJI Osmo Pocket 4 preparing to redefine how we capture first-person adventures, cinematic travel experiences, and mixed-format creative storytelling, it's clear the future of content creation is not coming, it's nearly here, engineered with innovation that places DJI another giant leap ahead in the global imaging race.